Hello friends. Today's project is wireless call bell. Using this simple circuit, you can create a wireless doorbell for your home. This circuit is made up of two parts. One is transmitter, another is receiver. This circuit is made up of very few components. Let us take a look at the component list to develop this project. You need to have a 433 megahertz RF transmitter to transmit signal over radio frequency. a push button to ring the bell and a ht12e encoder to completing the transmitter circuit for the receiver circuit you need to have a 433 megahertz rf receiver to receive the signal a buzzer that indicates ringing of the bell a 5mm led to indicate that signal is received wirelessly and ht12d decoder ic 1 5 volt relay is an optional component at the receiver end in case you need to create an ac doorbell here we are creating a prototype hence buzzer will be sufficient apart from these components you need to have some resistors some capacitors an npn transistor some connectors a breadboard and wire for making connections let us take a look at the circuit now in the transmitter circuit here you can see only the encoder ic is connected and a rf transmitter module which has four pins is connected apart from this a push button a resistor and a capacitor creates the full transmitter circuit this is the rf receiver module with eight pins and this is a decoder ic this is our receiver circuit apart from this led and buzzer creates the complete receiver circuit this is our full project as soon as we press this switch at the transmitter end the signal is transmitted through the rf transmitter and at the receiver end it is received by the rf receiver decoder using decoder ic and the buzzer blows this single standing wire at the transmitter and the receiver end is used as an antenna to catch frequency and transmit signal smoothly now the circuit can transmit signals for approximately 100 meters this is the prototype of the circuit to generate the actual call bell you can make the circuit on a pcb put this transmitter circuit at the door or in some room and receiver circuit at the place where you want to hear the bell let us see the working of the circuit i will press the button and you will hear the buzzer sound and led also glows yes ye dekho I have used this 5 volt power supply. You can use a battery to power up your transmitter and receiver circuits. You can also create the extension of this project by using 5 volt relay and a relay driver circuit. If you want to connect an AC ringer call bell, then this circuit at the receiver end will be used. This is a relay driver transistor and a 5 volt relay. Now, when I press the button at the transmitter end, you can hear the buzzer and also this LED on the optional circuit breadboard glows. Here we have used the buzzer too, right? You can also ring four different call bells wirelessly using this circuit by adding more push buttons to other pins of the encoder IC. I have not included that in this circuit, but you can create the extension of this project with less effort. This is all about this project. We hope you liked it. Do implement this project at home and let us know your experience. Thank you.